we're going for the Nemesis scripts and uh, last stop was the 600 microcode error that we've done. And then I said, okay, I'm gonna cut, cut the movie into two pieces and we're going to check out the personal folder. So that's something entirely different. And it's uh, the one in here. So the personal folder, well, it's uh, rather obvious. Our settings for my system, the way I feel, my system should be on all desktops. On 12 desktops, I will run it. And it becomes a very um, recognizable workflow on any system I'm on. And that's the power, of course, having a system that that's kind of looks the same everywhere. So open in terminal as a good approach, making it like this is good as well. And where's my atom? Is it back there? Let's put you here. And what does it do? It makes folders and it skips them if it already exists. So it doesn't do any harm. Putting it in here, if it exists, well, fine, I do nothing. But if it doesn't exist, it's gonna make a directory. And it's always the same on any distribution of Linux. You have to make the dot fonts or the dot icons and the dot themes, these guys here. Um, so I'm gonna skip all that, I'll skip, I will skip it with an uh, installation and just make sure that everything is installed. Now, since I want to work on any desktop on Arch Linux, I'll move all the GitHubs from A to B, right? So new SSD, I'll GitHub, I'll, I'll Git clone, everything coming from the net again on my other SSD. So everything is ready here. The folders are there. The only thing I need to do is run scripts to say, get this one, get that one, get this one, get that one. Walk away, come back and everything is just installed. What is also interesting for you to know and interesting for you to search for is the bash RC personal. So let's do it already. So that's that. <laughs> it's very fast, of course. The bash RC personal is important in the sense that I always make the same mistakes. And here are my mistakes. Instead of typing update, I type either up eight or at So I said to myself, this is frustrating. Let's make a personal bash RC personal. That's never going to be overwritten with Scal. And there's a tutorial on arclinux.com about it. So any personal alias should go in this one, bash RC minus personal. And you see there are lots of other stuff that I'm trying out and I'm having fun with even uh, referring to scripts somewhere in my InSync folders and all that. But basically it's just for these two guys. These two guys uh, save me time. Otherwise I have to go back and type it again. So the typo is so really, well, not, not uh, no fun at all. So no, no fun, make an alias and you have uh, at, up date is an update, etc. And everything works again. So then is number 200. 200 is the bookmarks. I would like to have the same bookmarks in Thunar everywhere. So that's script number 200. And yes, Tunar is installed. There is this application here, which is called uh, not uh, Tunar, but it's called uh, Dolphin File Manager. That's the name, I think. And but there is also Tunar. So when we go to this thing, Tunar, and I'm working on it, then my workflow is here as well. So everything that I usually use here all the bookmarks that I require to do my job, they are there, just um, nice and easy. So that's that. The Firefox fix unreadable text. It's a very small script, an easy script to say if you use for if you use a dark theme, some of the text boxes become almost unreadable. And that's an easy fix. Just make a CSS and you have a readable Firefox. So he's starting Firefox quickly, go to sleep, kill Firefox, because we need to have a Mozilla Firefox folder to be able to copy paste a text to it. So that's okay. And um, we're going to the personal screenshots, which I'm not going to use. GNOME screenshot is not installed, I think. Let's have a look. GNOME. 
up screen sh alt let's see what it says new version that changes okay so i did install it on this one fine but there is a screenshot for deeping so i'm going to use that one and then see if that works fine but we have an alternative the thing why this gnome screenshot is always there is because that's the one that makes me that lets me make and it says here lets me make gpgs rather than pngs and png is 2 megabyte and gpg is 200 kilobyte 0 0.2 uh, megabyte so it's good for websites not gonna run this guy neither on this one because of uh, we'll see if it's needed so it's as you can see it changes an icon a, a particular hard-coded icon that i like to get rid of we'll see if it pops up in our um, deeping software desktop and this is of course something you should recognize and why because this one is the fun apps and the fun apps is already available it's in your system in the home control h bin main there is a fun app so this is the same version 4 as a version i have here it's always going to be the same version unless i forget of course but that's the point um, these are exactly the same so having if you want to have these fun things you just install them otherwise you just skip them at this point in time and there will be always issues that there is one issue with slurm and slurm is one of the um, graphical interface button in a terminal uh, to show you the download and upload inside um, a terminal from your interface so you need to know the interface and then you get these well nice looking graphs so that's that he's gonna take care of that and this is something special that I use for simple screen recording. So I'm trying to figure out what are the best settings for simple screen recorder on the 12 desktops. So I've started with this script and at this point I'm here somewhere awesome deeping plasma X monad cinnamon and this is the general article Linux and I want to do nothing I'll just press zero and now nothing will happen. Here you see this error from slurm so what you do if you get these things you go to the AOR on the website from AOR Arch Linux there you say uh, make an account of course and then you can say flag out of date that's all you need to do and then this person is going to see oh I forgot to make my MD5 sums failed validity check so it's easy to fix probably haven't looked into it uh, we'll just wait and see if he fixes it but basically that's the point um, of being an EOR maintainer and then 900 is not relevant since we're not on plasma so if I want to have bookmarks on plasma I'm gonna do this one and this is something special altogether if we do type now D message you see all these things together all these audit things and it's so rubbish to read it it's almost impossible to read it and um well i asked nick to say nick can we do something about this and says okay wait wait he comes back and says look you have to change this and that and everything will be fine so this line in here in the grub in etc default grub you have to say audit is zero and then you don't see all these lines and it's a little bit more readable so it's a choice of mine to not see all these audit things um, not all the time after clean installation fine analyze it great but at some point you don't want to see them anymore so ls if you don't if you're following my idea about it then you say let's get rid of it and of course it's not you're gon not gonna be rid of it now but once you, once you reboot and uh, do a message, you'll see they're gone and you can read it again as usual like we used to a few months back all right um, let's see something else here the key servers but that's something i need to do the, because of my uh, wonderful internet service provider who blocks my uh, well ports i'm guessing so that's something i require to be able to get my key servers in but if you don't need to do that you don't have to do that right AOR is something else there's a lot of scripts in here 
but basically it's always the same uh, text. This, this here is the same text. The only thing that changes is the name that you can find on the AUR. So if you say yay something, that's the exact name and it's going to get uh, the package. Uh, first, it's gonna check if it can skip it. Huh? Package is already installed, do nothing and else it's going to do yay or a trison or a yaourt which is out these days packauer i don't know it's still in packer and well it's gonna go over different aor helpers but it's gonna run always on yay because we have it so it's not gonna look for the others so brackets bin that you use just see what you can um i can install this is for my printer uh, twitter things uh, etcher to burn an iso on USB, some music. If you want to have the Linux LTS kernel, well, NeoFetch, we have it already. So Oxyneon is new. Radio Tray is installed now. Uh, TeamViewer, maybe something interesting for you guys. The Platinum Searcher is installed, thanks to the, the scripts here. And here's VirtualBox for LTS, Linux, Maybe Visual Studio Code. VMware Station is here. Vivaldi Wide Fine is here. It's installed. VPS Office, why not? And other stuff. And also stuff to uninstall. So uninstall the Saturday Mint Y icons or uninstall all the 100, well, the 17 GitHubs, remember, and the 100 icon themes. And um, they're uninstalled with this script. Okay, that covers the complete nem nemesis. I can reboot and now I can start digging into um, deeping. All right.